In today's video, we're going to take a look at Dead Air's latest suppressor, the Sierra 5. It's a 5.56 and 223 dedicated suppressor. It's durable, versatile, compact, and the quick answer is it's everything that everybody wanted when Dead Air made a 5.56 suppressor. Opening up the box, you're going to remove the outer sleeve, similar to Dead Air's other cans. Then you'll open this box up. Take out the foam. You've got a cigar style band, a dead air decal, a flyer with a QR code for the instruction manual, one muzzle device, be it either Xeno or Chemo, the CR5 itself, and then tucked underneath everything, you've got maintenance tools as well. For technical specifications, the Sierra 5 is a dedicated 5.56 silencer. It comes in at 5.72 inches in length, so it's on the shorter side of rifle cans and still on the shorter side of dedicated 5.56 suppressors. The diameter is 1.56 inches. The weight is going to be between 13.3 and 15.4 ounces, depending on the configuration you've got the Sierra 5 in. Like Dead Air Sandman series, it's a full Stellite construction with a black Cerakote finish. As you'd come to expect from Dead Air, it is of course full auto rated with no minimum barrel length restrictions. It utilizes the Bravo, Omega, or Hub style mounting system in the rear portion, so you've got versatility when it comes to mounts, and it does utilize the Sandman series of front caps. It also ships in two different variants. The Xeno version, or Dead Air's key mount chemo variant. At Capital Armory, we allow you to customize this even further so buyers can get the exact mounting system they want right out of the box. When compared to another one of Dead Air's hard use rifle cans, the Sandman S, you can notice the Sierra 5 is substantially shorter. Both the Sierra 5 and the Sandman S have interchangeable front caps. The Sandman series, however, has a fixed chemo system. The Sierra 5 comes standard with a 5.56 flash shotting front cap, as well as the Bravo Hub 1.375, or whatever you want to call it, industry standard interchangeable rear mounting system. The Sierra 5 is both available in a Xeno and Chemo system out of the box. To install those, you simply just screw them in, and the Sierra 5 is good to go. If, for whatever reason, Xeno or Chemo are not your desired mounting system. There's a number of other available systems, such as YHM's Y mount, Silencer Co. ASR, Direct Thread Options, Q's Plan B, Griffin's Plan A. The list goes on and on. Ultimately, you just need to know the Sierra 5 has both interchangeable front caps and a very, very versatile mounting system in the rear, allowing you to set up that silencer for whatever specific mounting system that you personally enjoy. Looking at decibel reduction, the Sierra 5 averaged at 139.3 decibels on a standard 16-inch AR-15 using XM193 ammo. This is about what you'd expect on an AR, just within hearing safe. The supersonic crack of 5.56 is about 143 to 144 decibels, and ARs are loud guns as it is. It's also a very compact can, so the Sierra 5 does a good job of balancing performance while maintaining a small size. In terms of blowback, since people are always curious, it was middle of the road. It wasn't super low blowback, but nor was it noticeably high blowback. Again, it was what you'd expect for a standard good 5.56 silencer. As stated in the beginning of the video, the Dead Air Sierra 5 is exactly what everybody wanted from Dead Air when it comes to a 5.56 suppressor. It sounds good enough, it's short, versatile, customizable mounting system, interchangeable front caps, full auto rated, no minimum barrel length restrictions. Really, 
When it comes to 556 suppression, what else could you want? If you have any questions on the Dead Air Sierra 5 or any other products we carry, give us a call, email, or stop on into the shop. Go faster!